Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here. We've all heard about intermittent fasting and really the scientific and clinical benefits of intermittent fasting. You know, the data are very clear. Fasting from food at least 16 to 18 hours a day, the benefits are extremely clear. There are enormous health benefits, improving longevity, upregulating longevity gene. So what does that mean? You know, I think America today, we're eating too much. We're grazing throughout the day. And I think the message we're getting from the so-called experts is break your fast, eat breakfast, the most important meal of the day. And I think that's exactly opposite. Because as the science has evolved, we know that intermittent fasting completely changes the metabolic profile, improves your metabolic flexibility. So what does the science say? It basically adapts, allows our body to adapt, turning on longevity genes, turning on metabolic flexibility genes. We need to have that period of fasting so that our body can undergo what's called autophagy, self-eating of cells, senescent cells, zombie cells. That's the way our body clears out these dysfunctional cells. The other thing we see in America is people are overfed. We're overweight, we're obese, we have too much sugar. Now, when you start out intermittent fasting, and I started this years ago, every day I do an 18-hour fast. I eat my last meal at 5 or 30 or 6 in the evening, and I don't eat again until noon the next day. I do not eat breakfast, and I think that's very important. And everybody that I've spoken to gets enormous benefit from that. You see weight loss. You feel better. The challenge is the first time you do that, it's somewhat challenging because... If you're used to eating simple carbohydrates and eating a lot of sugar, you're going to have these sugar cravings, sugar pangs. But once you start doing that, you lose these cravings. So I tell people all the time, start out with a 16 to 18 hour fast every day. And then what about prolonged fasting? You know, maybe once a month I'll do a 48 hour, 72 hour fast. That's certainly much more challenging. Just drinking water and taking my supplements and, and branch chain amino acids during that. But what that allows is in the day, the science is very clear. Again, it allows for your body to rid itself of dysfunctional cells, autophagy, mitophagy, cleaning out old mitochondria, dysfunctional mitochondria, making new mitochondria. The cell signaling aspects are very clear. Intermittent fasting activates nitric oxide production, induces a gene called PGC1-alpha, which then allows for mitochondrial biogenesis, mobilizes stem cells. So what is that extended period of fasting doing? It's clearing out the old dysfunctional cells. It's mobilizing resident stem cells to make new cells that work properly and that are functional. So this is actually cost savings. So intermittent fasting is something you should do. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's cost savings, your body will thank you for it, but you may have to work into this because it's challenging to go 16, 18 hours without a meal. It's even more challenging to go 24, 48, even 72 hours without a meal. But this is normal evolutionary type of mechanisms that are in play. You just have to have the discipline and the responsibility to do it and your body will thank you for it. So if you like this message, please subscribe below.